Craig, thank you so much for joining us here at Super thank Return you. International. So My many pleasure. people from the industry here, aren't there? Yeah. Um, a great chance for you to tell us all about what GoLab is all about. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, Golub Capital is a credit asset manager. We manage about $60 billion of capital today. And we focus exclusively on sponsor-backed private equity-owned businesses. And uh, stylistically, we lend uh, typically senior debt or unit tranche loans. And we like to focus on the very clean end of the credit spectrum. So very nice, clean credits without a lot of story behind them. And I guess in this environment, you'd say that's quite a comfortable space to be in. We like being where we are right now, for sure. How does your approach help in this sort of environment? Well, we, uh, we've always been, we're lenders. So we don't have upside, we only have downside. So we're always very focused on minimizing our credit losses. Uh, you can't make up uh, for a credit loss on another loan because there's just no upside. So uh, we're very focused on credit. It's we're credit first shop. And, uh, you know, part of why we have the strategy we do, you know, lending to private equity backed firms and, and clean credits is for the unknown times that we're going through right now. So, uh, you know, so far our portfolio has been holding up great. And uh, I think it, it'll be a real what we'll see over the next 12 years or 12 months, excuse me, will be uh, will show really the dispersion in performance from different credit strategies. Talking about timescales there, deal making has been very slow. Are mm -hmm. you seeing any change in that? What are you predicting to happen? Right now, I think we're going through a period of uh, a very high level of uncertainty. So you have un you know, uncertainty in the economic picture. Will there be a recession? How bad will the recession be? You have uncertainty in terms of rates. I think everyone thought that rates would plateau quicker than they have, and we've all been surprised. Uh, you've got uncertainty in terms of lingering issues with China, uh, supply chain issues, inflation, all that stuff. So uh, it's natural that buyers and sellers would have a, a bigger difference of opinion about what is the right valuation for a business. And so it's been very hard for them to get together and for, for transactions to actually close. Do you see there being any, any such thing as safe havens in this sort of environment? Obviously, you feel that your strategy is relatively safe in those terms. What, what sort of approaches are you seeing work and what are the best managers doing in this environment? Well, I think uh, the best managers prepare for all outcomes. They don't assume things will be fine. So uh, I know we have bulked up our portfolio team so that if we do have a higher level of, of uh, you know, casualties that we can address those and make sure that we stay on top of the portfolio. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of folks have appropriately pulled back in leverage. So leverage multiples have come down to reflect the higher interest rates. Um, so I think those are just a couple of the, of the strategies that people are using. I think safe haven, uh, people are, as you might expect, are staying away from businesses that they perceive have higher recession risk. So the deals that are getting done right now tend to be those uh, software businesses that are recurring revenue that aren't economically sensitive. Uh, you're not seeing a lot of consumer discretionary deals get done right now. What do you expect to happen to this industry now? Obviously they are like, they like, the private equity world likes to prize itself on being flexible, being innovative. So what do you expect to see in the next sort of 12 to 24 months in terms of both coping with this environment, but being more positive going forward about how to find those returns. Yeah. Well, private equity firms are great at what they do. Um, so <clears throat> we've seen our sponsors time and again, the, the clients that we work with in the private equity community, time and again, uh, find creative ways to, to create value, whether it's uh, entering new markets, introducing new products, acquisitions obviously is a big one. Uh, sometimes it just takes a change in management. Uh, so they're, they're really experts at teasing out what are the different strings they can pull to create value. It, it'll be harder, I think, in the, in the near term. We haven't had, it's been 10 years of near zero interest rates and, and uh, Fed stimulus. It's the first time we're kind of going back and moving the other direction. 
And there's been a lot of talk about a rising tide lifts all ships. Is this now going to be a re revealing time to those that have succeeded because of the economic environment rather than perhaps expertise? A different way to put it is on, on the direct lending side, I think we're going to see a greater dispersion of performance because I think the folks that have been uh, focused on growing at all costs will have problems. And you know, a lot of the folks that are relatively new who don't have uh, as well-developed portfolio teams and monitoring and workout, they're gonna struggle to fill that function. They're gonna struggle to manage that and probably have to take a pause on new deal activity. So I think, I think there will be a, a series of have and have nots, if you will, in terms of uh, go forward performance. There are 4,000 people at this conference. There's an awful lot of players in this industry now. Do you think that sort of environment will see a bit of consolidating firms perhaps coming together in that environment? If you think about a private equity firm as a business, uh, they've got a substantial investment in their people costs. If they've got a team of operating partners, they have deal sourcers. And if they are kind of stuck in terms of where they are from an asset under management standpoint, they're gonna have problems keeping that team together. So I, I could absolutely see uh, some consolidation of uh, more than middle market players uh, to sort of leverage their capital and do that. But, um, and I think on the private debt side, it's gonna be a situation of the big are gonna get bigger. And, um, you know, the, the folks with the most scale are gonna be the ones that can uh, really thrive, you know, going forward. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. It was great okay. to talk to you today, Greg. Thank All right, you. great, thanks, my pleasure. Thank you.